So we have arrived and this is our boat. I cannot believe it that we bought it, we found it, we bought it and now we're here. It took a long time to travel all the way here from Copenhagen but the feeling that I have stepping on my new home is just indescribable. So this is the point in which I'm trying to figure out everything and I have to figure out like how to turn on the, ba the batteries, how to turn on all the different things uh, on the boat. And now we have connected the electricity cable to the dock so I should also be able to turn on all the plugs. Uh, I know how to do it on my parents boat but this is a new boat for us, it's our boat and I have to learn everything. So mission accomplished, we managed to buy the vacuum cleaner, the vacuum cleaner bags um, and some electrical plugs that we needed uh, and now we're walking back to the port. It is a, it is a 30 minute walk, uh, so we're walking one hour in total as if we hadn't walked enough today but we're very happy because we are on track with our works. We are desperately f trying to find a restaurant to eat dinner, uh, but everything is uh, fully booked. And uh, we need to eat out because there is nothing on the boat. Uh, not only no food, but also no cutlery, no plates, and uh, nothing to cook with. So we need to find a place to eat. Cleaning time. It's 11.30 in the evening and I am done cleaning our cabin. It took some time and this is just the first cleaning to sleep in the night and I've made a bed. Do you want to see the result? friends i have slept so well in the cabin i hadn't slept so well in so many days probably almost two weeks um, and in the last few days i hadn't slept at all so i really needed some rest indeed while well, my boyfriend woke up at seven i was in bed until nine so i really i really needed some rest um i went to the toilets of the port because right now we cannot use the bathroom we have to do some maintenance and therefore we're using the public toilet so i went all the way there it's quite far away um, and then i came back i did just a very quick thing for youtube for a video which is out today in which i'm telling you that i am uh, moving from copenhagen uh, but meanwhile i'm already filming this other video in which uh, uh, i'm showing you that i moved on a sailboat so yeah of course you're a little bit behind but if you want to be up to date just follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I was telling you that I did some YouTube work and it was possible because we have Wi-Fi. Uh, yesterday we had one hour in Milan in the central station and we went to a Wintre uh, store where we bought a SIM card with unlimited uh, uh, 5G uh, internet and then we put it in a little box so that we have internet in the boat and that's very nice since we will have to work from the boat. Um, and here behind me is the list of things that we have to do. I've put uh, each major task on a post-it post with uh, some specifications of what we actually have to do. And uh, you can see that there is uh, to do in progress and done. Um, done is only buying a vacuum cleaner and cleaning the, um, our cabin. Uh, but most of the things are still 
to be done. So now we are um, uh, going out, getting a cup of coffee and a little bit of breakfast. And then we're going to a shopping center to buy a lot of cleaning products and some other things that we need for the boat. We are back on the boat after a long morning of uh, shopping at Brico and some other stores. We bought really a lot of stuff. Uh, we put all the things in a big backpack and then some other bags and it was super hard to carry them back. Indeed, for the last part of the road, we actually took a cab because we didn't want to ruin our bags because we really need them. So we bought a lot of things that we need for cleaning, a lot of cleaning products and cleaning tools that we will use today and over the next days to make the boat shine. Um, the big goal for today, for the afternoon, is to clean the kitchen, to disinfect and just to make it very, very clean so that we can put all our new things that we bought today in, into the cupboards. We bought some plates and uh, some other things like cutlery and uh, a pan. And we want to clean the fridge so that we can um, put some food in the fridge. We haven't used it yet. Uh, so yeah, there is quite a lot of work in that. And then we have to clean a bit the storage rooms outside so that we can organize and put in our tools. So now we can move, um, go to Golden Market and buy all these things and go to Brico and buy all these things from here to here. Uh, so from to do to done, which is uh, yeah, a very big progress for the day. So we're working very hard, um, it is tough, but we are super happy because we really love our project and we have a lot of energy to pursue it. But yeah, you can see what the situation is right now. It's uh, Everything is pretty messy. So I will now start to clean the fridge. fridge is uh, totally clean now um, and uh, my boyfriend just called me he had to walk all the way to the other side of the city because today it's Sunday and um, all supermarkets were closed so he had to walk all the way but um, now he's coming back with some uh, fresh food that we can put in the clean fridge
have just had dinner uh, outside here in front of the road. It is so amazing to yeah, be able to sit here and relax for 15 minutes. Uh, but now it's time to start working again because we have so much to do, so much to clean. Uh, but we have a lot of energy. Where to start? I'm done cleaning the kitchen. I'm very satisfied. I have uh, disinfected and uh, cleaned everything uh, really, really in depth. And then I could put the new things we bought and the food in the fridge. Uh, so now it feels a bit more ours and it feels like we can use it <laughs> to make food. I'm gonna give you a very small tour now and then a more detailed one in the future after we have bought uh, more stuff and uh, just decorated a bit more. Good morning friends, we woke up quite early and we admired the sunrise out in the front of the boat, it was very nice. And then we went for a little walk and got a cappuccino and now we are ready to start working. Um, actually uh, today is Monday and uh, both today and tomorrow are work days uh, in terms of our remote work for uh, our Danish employers. Um, so we won't have that much time to perform works on the boat, uh, but I still want to get some things done because we don't have that many days before we have to sail. Um, and right now I'm gonna order some spare parts from an online shop that then delivers to a physical shop here in La Spezia. Uh, so I can uh, go and pick up uh, the spare parts later in the afternoon or tomorrow. Um, and then I want to clean the guest cabin to make it nice and then I also want to do a deep cleaning of this part of the boat, especially of the storage spaces under the cushions here uh, and also the cupboards. So yeah, there is quite a lot to do. And then we also need to go and buy some more things just for the kitchen and some organizers for the wardrobes. And then we have to shop for food, so there is always a lot of stuff to do. Uh, but yeah, today we have to prioritize our work, our remote work of course and then we will try to get as much as possible done in our free time as you can see winter is coming uh, it's getting cold Now I use some of my free time to clean one of the guest bedrooms. Uh, so I start by removing all the stuff that is on top of the mattresses and then um, dust everywhere, vacuum and um, do a deep cleaning. We have the first enigma of the new boat. Uh, I was uh, here cleaning the guest cabin and I'm just opening every single compartment, every single thing I can open just to see, uh, to get to know the boat and see where the different openings lead to and uh, what you can see, what you can work on. And I opened a, a little thing here and I found some water uh, in between the boiler and the engine. Uh, I tasted it and it's not salt water, it is sweet water. So it means that we don't have water coming through the hole, but um, I want to figure out what it is, whether it is um, related to the boiler or to something else. So 
yeah, this is a, one of the fun things of being on a boat. You begin to work on something and then you have to stop and just look at something else that pops up. So I've taken a sponge and uh, with the sponge I'm gonna get the water out into a glass to see first of all how much there is. I don't think there is that much. Um, and then uh, we will see whether when it comes out, so whether it is when we use the pump, when we try to, the water pump, when we try to use the boiler. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you updated. Okay, and now my lunch break is over. Uh, I was supposed to clean the cabin, but of course I didn't do it. I tried to solve this problem, so and I didn't. So yeah, welcome to boat life where you make a plan and then uh, you cannot follow on it. It is much later in the afternoon, uh, I've stopped working, I finished all the work that I had to do today for uh, the office and then I continued cleaning the cabin, the guest cabin, I've washed the wall, disinfected everything, um, cleaned the mattresses, cleaned under the mattresses, the wardrobes, uh, the woods, I've treated the wood. Um, and now I was getting ready to clean the bilge, the part under the pavement or the wall. I just wanted to vacuum there to make sure there was no dust. And as I opened, I found water. It was basically full of water, only in the cabin, not in the rest of the boat. The rest of the bilge is totally dry. But here I found water and I tasted it and it's slightly salty. So it could be some water from the sea, even though I don't think it's salty enough. Or it could be some fresh water that has just collected some salt that was there in the bilge before um, but yeah it looks like we really have to do something for this <laughs> problem because if there is even a slight chance that it comes from the sea we really have to find out where it comes from So now I'm going to dry up the water as I did before uh, with the other water that I found and then I'm going to try to use the shower outside, uh, use it a bit to see whether more water comes out. If that happens then maybe it is connected to the shower and then we can see how much water comes out and whether it is something that we have to repair immediately or we can wait. If it is just a little bit of water, of course it is not nice but we can also wait because we really have to get the boat ready to leave. Okay, let's go back in. Here's the Julia of the future. Uh, almost three weeks have passed since we had we were in La Spitz and we had the water problem. Uh, and I just wanted to give you an update on what it actually was. Um, so after we removed the water in La Spitz, we didn't find any more water. Uh, so it remained a bit of a mystery because we couldn't really figure out where the water was coming from. Until we arrived here in Sicily and we were hit by the storm, the so-called Mediterranean hurricane, and we were here under the rain for several days and the water reappeared. And then we figured out it was actually rainwater that was um, coming in through a small hole uh, in a storage room outside and then could make its way uh, down to the back of the boat and the build. So we repaired uh, the issue, we put some silicone and now everything is fine. So I just wanted to update you on that. But now let's go back to La Spezia. 
We are back from uh, doing the shopping and we carried very, very heavy bags with a lot of food, uh, a lot of canned food uh, and uh, a big pan that we bought and uh, a plate and some other stuff. So it was very, very heavy to carry. Um, now we have to clean up this mess that there is here uh, because today, as you know, we had a water problem and then we started to run around and figure out, oh, that was the water pump. Um, we started to um, run around and try to figure out where the water came from. We opened all the um, skipper's manuals of this boat in order to see where the pipes run. And um, the result is that there is a mess everywhere. So the plan is uh, cleaning everything up, just tidying up here, making food, eating, getting some energy from the food. And then we will start to clean the saloon and in particular the storage space under the couches so that then we can put all the food we bought, the canned food, in there and then, then we will be almost done for today. Good morning friends, yesterday evening we worked until late, I managed to clean the entire saloon and to organize, uh, put away all the food uh, that we had bought, so now it looks a little bit more like a home uh, and also all the storage spaces are clean so now they're ready to be used and my boyfriend has cleaned and organized the storage spaces outside and, and has uh, put the dinghy, transferred the dinghy from uh, the shower to the storage room outside, which is a proper pla place for a dinghy. I've also managed to uh, clean completely the um, first guest cabin and to make the bed. Um, and today I want to reorganize a bit the stuff that is in the other cabin, the one that use, we use like a as a storage room, because my parents are arriving today and they will sleep in the guest cabin, which is ready for them, but they will also need to put their suitcases somewhere uh, and um, that's the, the other guest room. Therefore it needs to be sided up. We had a shower this morning at the shower facility of the port. We cannot use our bathroom yet um, and now we're having the first coffee on the boat. We have just got back to the boat, we went to get this package and we got delivered um, and there are some spare parts for some works that we need to perform on the boat and now I'm going to show you what's inside.
we are about to go sailing for the first time after we bought the boat. Hi friends, today has been a very very busy day, we hadn't stopped for a second. Uh, this morning we woke up early and at 8 o'clock the diver came to clean the boat underneath, so he cleaned it all so that then we can um, sail faster. Afterwards we went to buy some equipment for the boat, some missing things, then we went on the other side of the, of the city to get a package that we got delivered with some uh, other equipment and more, more specific marine things that we needed um, and then we went out uh, with a boat we went for a little sailing tour uh, just to try the sails try the motor try the anchor and make sure that we know as much as possible uh, about this boat before um, we leave tomorrow morning. Then we went to the gasoline station to get some diesel for the boat twice back and forth with two tanks um, and afterwards we went to do a huge huge shopping maybe the biggest shopping of my life and then it took also some time to store all the things we bought into the boat. We had dinner, we took a shower and now we're finally ready to go to bed. We also um, filled the water tank and uh, arranged a few things in the boat and outside so that everything is safe for when we're sailing tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're waking up at 4.15 because we're aiming at leaving at 5. We have a 12-14 hour sailing day and we hope to arrive when there is still some sunlight and that's why we're leaving so early. But we're gonna talk about all this in the next video when I'm gonna bring you with me in the first big sailing trip with this boat which is also my new home. I hope you like this video, let me know what you think about, follow me on Instagram and uh, I'll see you in the next video.